When you look at the case of Daniel, in that Daniel 6, verse 25 to 27. If Daniel had not been thrown into the lion's den, he would not have been known. He would not have had the opportunity to prove his God. His God will not have been known by the world, by the king. His God will not have been known if not that challenge is. If not that failure, that persecution, that trouble he faced. See another thing failure also did. In that Luke 5 verse 1 to 11 about Peter. Luke 5 verse 1 to 11. If Peter had had the desire catch of fish, he may not have encountered Jesus. If Peter had had the desire catch of fish at the seaside, Peter would not have encountered Jesus. So see what disappointment Failure did. It moved Peter to a higher level. Ask any successful businessman, and he will tell you how much, much disappointment and setback. He had to endure to come to a new level in life. Ask any successful businessman and he will tell you how much disappointment, how much failure, how much setback, how much name calling he had to endure to come to the new level in life. Just as any successful couple today, they will tell you how much disagreement, how much challenging situation They had to put up with to come to the new level in their marriage. God is not value until it is tested. Gold. And you too, you are not value until you are what? Tested by what? Failure. Disappointment. Stagnation, sickness, disease. Say, I'm not value until I'm tested. God sometimes uses foolish things to confuse us. Poverty can humiliate one, contempt can humiliate one. Sickness, disease, just name them, can humiliate one. And by the time you have the sickness, you say, ah, I'm not a Christian. That's why I have this disease. You start living your reckless life again. Ah, I'm not a Christian. That is why I fail. Oh my God. If I'm a Christian, I will not fail. Look at other colleagues. God does not hear me. That is why all this is happened to me. I'm not a Christian. You start living a reckless life. The reckless life causes sickness. Let me continue. If I've been living right and I have sickness, definitely let me continue my reckless life. But a man can be sick in body and yet be a Christian, a friend of God. 